Okay, this is exercise three, question five. And here we go. Um, it says that ABCD, ABCD is a cyclic quad, and AB, AC, and BD intersect at P. They cross right there. And they say that AE is parallel to DC, and they've marked it nicely for you there. So, okay, we're going to prove that AP over PC equals PE over PD. Well, we're going to do this with similar triangles. And if you look at AP, AP, and P, um, AP and PE, those two letters mean you, it must be this triangle right here. And PE and PD, let's see here. Oh, yeah, PE. We've got PD, but we've got PC. So it must be this little triangle here. So I mark it out. I know I'm looking at this red triangle because I'm looking at the letters AP and PE. Uh, and the other letters in there, um, you've got uh, PD, and yeah, so PD right there, and the other letter there is PC. So that's the blue triangle it must be. And then I, I lay out the triangle, when I say I'm going to look at these two triangles, I guess the order doesn't matter so much here, but I try and get it right before I start so that I'm looking at the same thing. I know the P's must match up because that's I can see vertically opposites, and I know that the A and the C2 and A2, A and C must match up because it looks like, oh, it's going to be alternate angles or something in there. Yes, A2 and C2. So anyways... Triangle APE, the red one, and the blue one, CPD, are the ones we're going to try and prove are similar. So we get started by going, oh, P1 and P3, those angles are vertically opposite angles, and they're equal to each other. And A2 and C2, they're alternate angles because AE is parallel to DC. Well, that's all you need. You've got it. You can now say that triangle APE is similar to triangle CPD because their angles correspond. And now that we've got that, we can match up their sides in ratios. They're proportional. A over P, CP, the outside AE and the outside um, goes with CD, and then PE goes with PD. So AE, and it's, this should be CD right there. So there's a little typo mistake that I can fix a little bit later. Um, but these are the ratios. And let's see here. Oh, the outside ones are our answers, the ones that we care about. That should be a D right there. And we've got that AP goes with PC the way PE goes with PD. Well, but um, hang on here. We're supposed to, we're going to try and prove that AP squared equals BP times PE. Well, we've got the first ratio there. Let's see what we can do. The big hint here is this BP. That's a new triangle that we're dealing with. And so from B to P, ABPB looks like the new triangle we're going to be working with. So... And that's the one that the textbook uh, memo kind of uses. It says in APB and EPA, those triangles are similar. And if we prove that, then we can get the last one. That was a little bit trickier, but, but the BP um, kind of forces you to be thinking about you're going to be using this triangle a, B, P, the big triangle. And you've got that little red triangle in the middle of the same one. Okay, why is that a good one to do? Well, P1 is common. And we've got half of the angle thing figured out between this little red triangle and this bigger triangle, A, B, P. P1 is common. What else can we get? Well, we can get that E1. Let's see, where are we here? E1 E1, sorry, E1 right here is equal to D2 because of alternate angles. So we see that. That's true. But D2, A, D2 is equal to BAC, A1 and A2 together because angles on the same segment. Well, that means E1 must be the same as 
this E1 right here must be the same as this angle A1 and A2 together, BAC. Well, that's enough. I've just shown that those triangles match up. And because their angles match up, that means their sides are, core, uh, um, are proportional. And I think we've got an AP and an AP that we can multiply to get AP squared. And oh, there's your BP and your PE. There's your answer. And that's it. Now, I'm going to leave the stuff that's in the... Um, I'm going to leave the stuff. There's another version that I did that's more complicated. I went a different route, but I'm not going to do a video up of it. You can take a look at it, but it's a bunch more steps, a little hard, well, more steps, and it's not as good as this version. But there you go. There's it all done.